Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new affordable wig that I found because that's basically what I do on my channel. I show you guys wigs that are affordable and are also cute. This wig I have today was sent to me by a company called Sam's Beauty. The name of this wig is The Straight Affairs and it's by The Stylist. This is basically what it looks like. So this wig is a straight wig and it's a 4x4 lace frontal wig um, so you can do the left side part, right side part or center part. Um, I haven't tried this wig on yet so we're going to try it on together. Okay so this is basically what the wig looks like straight out of the pack. This is what the inside of the cap looks like. It has two combs by the side, one right here and one right here. So this is basically what the parting space looks like, the 4x4 lace frontal. It comes with um, lace from ear to ear, but you cannot make any part right there. You can only put it up in a ponytail. It has one comb behind right there. It also comes with adjustable straps. So this is a basic, the regular wig construction, basically. There's nothing like different about it. So next thing I want, I'm going to do is cut off the lace. Remember, you always have to cut off your lace when before you put on your wig. And what you want to do is cut the lace as close to the hairline as you can. So now I've cut off the lace, and this is basically what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I first put it on. This wig is not big head friendly at all <laughs> because like I have a big head and it's tight. So it's not big head friendly. I'm literally struggling to fit this on my head. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like. We're going to go ahead now and try to style it just to make it look nice. So one thing I'll let you know for this kind of wigs, like straight synthetic wigs, you need this kind of brush. You, a comb is not going to do the work. You need a brush to actually comb, comb the hair and make it look nice. A comb, a regular comb, it's not gonna work, honey. Make sure you get yourself a brush. So I just made a part on the wig because I want to start styling it now to make it look nice. You can decide to leave it like this and be good to go. Just put a little bit of powder. That would work but I kind of want to do a little extra just to make sure that the style stays good all day long because it's synthetic wig, you know, they can be tricky sometimes, you know. <laughs> so anyways, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to twist right here just to open up the part a little bit. So I just open up the part a little bit, you really don't need to do too much. Next I'm going to do some baby hairs. And what I've noticed, um, this wig is bulging up right here. I don't know if it's because it's too small for my head, but it is bulging up. So I'm just trying to thin out this hair that I brought out to do my baby hairs. Next I'm gonna just cut this short. The next thing I'm going to do is take this got to be glued um, styling gel to lay my edges. So now I'm just going to tie it down with this elastic band just to make sure that the baby hairs are secure. You literally just tie this down for about one minute and it should be good. So while that is drying, I'm just going to turn this on. This is my hot comb and this is from Hot Shot Tools. Um, this is amazing, really, really amazing. Anyways, I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to use it for my hair. So before you put heat on any synthetic hair, make sure you read the packaging first to be sure that it allows heat. If it does not, do not try it because your hair will melt literally because like what? Anyway, this one does allow heat, but it does not say um, how much heat it just says curling iron safe so usually when I get things like this all I just do and usually when it doesn't say how much heat I just do 350 degrees just to be on the safe side you don't want to do higher than that some synthetic wigs can take 400 some is 325 but I just do 350 because it's kind of at the middle you get 
so now this is completely dried or almost I'm in a hurry so <laughs> this guy gotta be done right, right now so anyway this is what it looks like like this but I want to go ahead and you know add a little bit of extra stuff I don't know if I like my baby hairs but it looks good here but it looks weird on camera it's gotta move a little bit maybe a little more I don't even know see guys just ignore the baby hairs okay because I don't know what's happening with it right now maybe like that. so the next thing I'm going to do now is take my L'Oreal true match powder I always use this on my lace frontal and this is just my face powder my shade is the shade W8 this is the right way <laughs> My shade is the shade W8 and I'm going to use a dense brush as well just so that I'm able to pack the hair, I mean the, what's it called, the powder on there very well. So this is literally just an alternative for when you're too lazy to pluck your hair, literally just put some powder and it should look close enough. <laughs> So next thing, just go ahead and try to blend the powder with your fingers so that it doesn't look too brown. So now I'm taking this hot comb and I'm just going to use that to flatten the parting space. So next I'm just going to grab a mousse and put it on the hair. I'm trying to make this place a bit higher so what I'm going to do is after putting the mousse I just go straight in with my hot comb ouch ouch it's hot I'm going straight with my hot comb and comb it backwards that's the trick you have to comb it backwards and I'm gonna hold this down for it to cool down and then I'll just shake my head and then this should come forward a bit so yes guys this is pretty much the final look this is what it turned out to look like uh, I feel like I should have done a little better with the baby hairs but as I said earlier ignore the baby hairs no business <laughs> anyways guys this is basically what it looks like um, this wig actually shed a little bit and it's synthetic straight hair personally I don't like synthetic straight hairs because they're too um, everywhere you know what I'm trying to say like don't wear synthetic straight hair when you're wearing new clothes because you almost cut your head off because it's just so annoying because like anywhere the wind blows is where it's going well I don't know just my opinion personally I'm not a big fan of synthetic straight hairs but this one is cute I like the color I got it's like a what was the color? The color of this wig is F1B slash 30. So it's basically just a mix of 1B and 30. Um, I really, really like this hair so far. It's cute. It's definitely something that you can wear every day. It's something that you can be wearing to work. It's something you can pull back in a bun, like if it's just disturbing you, you know. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. If you like this hair, go ahead and purchase it. All the details will be in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. Again, remember this hair was sent to me by Sam's Beauty. If you like this video, if you learned something new, if you just like see my face, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the section below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my new videos. And yes, thank you in advance. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.